So for dinner, um, this is my post-workout meal. So we need some meatballs, some kale, and carbs under the form of buckwheat. You're going to start off with a heavy skillet, a little bit of olive oil in there, just you want to coat the whole pan. Um, and then very simply enough, we're just going to drop in um, some meatballs in there. Uh, this is pure beef, uh, lean beef. Um, and one portion for me is about 350 or 300 grams. Um, if you're really not having an active day, then you can bring this down to about 150 to 200 grams, and that's fine. So just season it with some salt and pepper. Uh, nothing more simple than that. Then we're just going to boil our buckwheat with a little bit of chicken stock. Once it's nice and brown on one side, I'm just going to reduce the heat and flip them over so I can cook the other sides a little slower than the first part. If you're running short of time and you want to go faster, you can just cover it. Uh, once the meatballs are done, I'm just going to remove them from the pan and drain the oil out. Same pan, uh, no need to add more oil. I'm just going to toast some garlic uh, with some red onions. And I just really want to get all of this nice, soft, and caramelized. Once that's achieved, um, I'm just going to add some kale, which I'm just going to tear with my arms. Um, my hands, I mean. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to cover that until it gets nice and soft as well. Uh, for the buckwheat, once the water has evaporated, or mostly, it's going to be a nice soft texture and consistency. So I'm just going to add a little bit of salt, some pepper, uh, some butter. So it's going to be like a nice, very nutty, risotto-like texture. Uh, the kale should be wilting nicely. Just start mixing it. And again, we're just going to season this. Once we're all done, we're just going to put maybe half a cap of our cooked groats um, in the, the serving plate that you're using. And then we're going to put all the kale, the onions, the garlic, all that beautiful, uh, fresh, natural um, vegetables. And then we're adding our meatballs on top. Just season the whole thing with a bit more salt and a bit more pepper. Okay, so that was my quick and healthy dinner. Um, I'm basically done for the day. Before going to bed, I'm gonna have another protein shake and that should complete my whole protein intake for the day. Um, just subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section below right here um, exactly what kind of ingredients you usually have at home and maybe I can try to make something for you there. Um, so this is a new format I'm doing which is uh, three videos, three different meals in one day. Um, just to give you an idea of what a balanced day looks like. See you guys soon.